hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking superheated steam at an average temperature 200 degrees celsius is transported through a steel pipe the pipe is insulated with a 4 cm thick layer of gypsum plaster the insulated pipe is placed horizontally inside a warehouse where the average air temperature is 10 degrees celsius the steam and the air heat transfer coefficients are estimated to be 800 and 200 respectively calculate the daily rate of heat transfer so this question is asking to find the rate of heat transfer and the second one is asking for the temperature on the outer outside surface now let's go ahead and do the first question that is q dot rate of heat transfer to find this one we can use this equation that here we have steam temperature so that is ts because it's always going to go from hot to cold right so the initial temperature is going to be the highest temperature here we have 200 highest and 10 is lowest so this is going to be ts minus this one that is air temperature so we can put t air right here and in the denominator we are going to have r total so here we have to calculate the r total we know these values we know ts t air but we have to find out r total so to find the R total, let's look at the diagram first. So first of all, we have a pipe, right? So we have a pipe and that is, and we have steel, right? So this is a pipe with steel cover and then we have insulation on top. So here we have insulation right so this is steel part and let's uh, let's put the dia diameters so they are saying inside diameter is 6 cm so this distance is going to be 6 cm then we have outside diameter that's going to be this one that is equal to 8 cm right and they are saying that they are adding four centimeter thick layer gypsum plaster right so this is gypsum plaster right here and if you look at the distance from here to here so if it's four centimeter so each side we are going to have four centimeter right so this is four centimeter this is four centimeter so we are going to have 8 plus 4 12, 12 plus 4 16. So the total distance is going to be 16 centimeter. So this is going to be our distance. And now this is representing the diameters. Now we are trying to find our total. We need to find our total in order to calculate Q dot. So now let's, uh, let's draw a diagram for our resistance. So here we are going to start from in a convection so inside we are going to have convection so r inside so temperature inside r in the inner convection and then we have the steel that's conduction so r1 and again insulated part that's convection co conduction again so that's going to be r2 and outside we are going to have convection so that's r outside and t outside now let's Go one by one so let's begin with in inside convection so to find the convection we always use this equation one over h i area right so in a heat transfer coefficient we have to know that and they have provided that one right here so they are saying the steam and air heat transfer coefficients are estimated to be 800 and 200 respectively so steam is going to be inside and air is outside so this is going to be the inner heat transfer coefficient so that's going to be the value we are going to put here and surface area for a cylindrical shape it's all, always going to be phi dl so phi times d is going to be diameter diameter inside we have 6 cm so that's the one we are going to plug here so this is going to be 6 times 10 to the power of minus 2 and the length of this pipe is 20 meter so this is going to be multiplied by 20 and if you calculate this value you should get 0 
0.33 Kelvin per watts right so this is our first one now let's go ahead for the second one that's the steel cover that's conduction so when we have conduction in a cylindrical shape we use this equation law r2 over r1 over 2 phi kl right so here r2 is going to be outer radius and r1 is going to be inner radius you can put diameter also because the ratio is always going to be same if you put radius or diameter the ratio is going to be the same so you can put both of them now since we are dealing with steel right here we are we have to look at where the steel is starting and if you look at this one at six centimeter diameter the steel is starting and it's ending at eight centimeter so eight centimeter is going to be the outer diameter and six centimeter is going to be the inner diameter so 8 centimeter is going to be on top long 8 over inner diameter that's 6 so we are going to have 6 in the denominator and then we have 2 phi and then thermal conductivity of this steel is provided right here that's 50 watts per meter kelvin so that's the one we are going to plug right, right here and the length of this pipe that is 20 so here we have, we have to put 20 and if you calculate this value you should get 0 0.0000457 kelvin per watts now let's calculate this insulate part, insulated part again it's going to be the same equation because it's also conduction and it's also a cylindrical shape so we are going to use the same equation now r2 over r1 or you can put d2 over d1 if you want to put diameter so i'm going to put the diameter but you can write anything right r2 or d2 it's going to be both of them are going to be same thing 2 phi kl and now here we have to look at where the insulated part is beginning and where it's ending and insulated part beginning at 8 centimeter diameter and ending ending at 16 centimeter diameter so 16 is the outer diameter that's going to be on top and then inner diameter is 8 centimeter that's going to be in the denominator and then in the below we are going to have 2 pi times k that's going to be thermal conductivity of this gypsum plaster that's given right here that's 0 0.5 so that's the one we are going to put and then length of this pipe is given by 20 meter and that's going to be here and if you calculate this one you should get 0 0.01103 kelvin per watts and now we have to calculate this outer convection resistance so outer convection resistance again as we did for inner convection we are going to use this same equation that is R outside is going to be equal to 1 over H outside over surface area outside but here when we calculate surface area we are going to use the outside diameter before we used inner diameter that's 6 centimeter now outside diameter we are going to put 16 centimeter so here we are going to have 1 over heat transfer coefficient outside is 200 watts per meter square Kelvin so that's going to be here and then we have to multiply this one by area that's surface area for a cylindrical shape is going to be phi dl phi times diameter is 16 centimeters so 16 times 10 to the power minus 2 times the length that is 20 and if you calculate this one you should get 0 0.000497 kelvin per watts now we have found out all the resistance since this resistance sign series we can directly add them right so let's go ahead and add them together so this equation is going to be r total is going to be equal to r inside plus r1 plus r2 plus r outside now let's plug the values r inside is 0 0.00033 plus r1 that is 0 
plus R2 is going to be 0 0.01103 plus R outside is going to be 0 0.000497 and if you add them together you should get 0 0.01190 so let's write this one clearly so if we add them together we are going to get 0 0.01190 so this is going to be our total resistance now we found the total resistance to calculate this q dot right so now let's go ahead and plug the values so let's trace this part so here we are going to put q dot is going to be steam temperature that is 200 minus air temperature that is 10 over R total we calculated that is 0 0.0119027 right and if you calculate this Q dot that's going to give you 15.962 kilowatts now we have found out the Q dot and the next this is our first part A part right now the B part is asking the temperature on the outside surface so what we can do is since this is in series the q dot is going to be equal here q dot q dot right here is going to be equal to q dot right here q dot right here q dot right here right so since they are asking for the temperature on the outer surface so we are trying to find this temperature right here and outer surface so we know the outer temperature that is 10 degrees celsius and we we are trying to find this one the only resistance is in between is going to be outer convection right so we can use the same equation so q dot is going to be the higher temperature is going to be surface temperature because it's reducing from inside like it, it will go from highest to lowest so we know that inside is 200 degrees celsius and it's going to go in this direction now this is definitely higher than this so this is this is the one we are going to put in front so t is uh, let's say t insulated part that's what that's the one we are trying to calculate minus t r over r outside that's the only resistance we have in between in between those now we are trying to find insulated part now let's uh, plug all the values so first q dot is going to be the same value that is 15.962 kilowatts so instead of putting kilowatts we can put watts right here because we are dealing with we are putting everything in SI units so this is if I put this one in watts we just have to multiply this one by thousand so that's going to be 15,962 equal to T insulated part minus t r that we know that one that is 10 degrees celsius and then r outside r outside we know that uh, 0 0.00497 this uh, this so this is our so the one we wrote last so 0 0.0 yeah hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the one, right? 0 0.00497. And from this one, you can find insulated parts temperature. And if you find that one, that should give you 17.9 degrees Celsius. And that's going to be the answer for the second part. And that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.